The members will now escort Speaker-elect Rendon and his family to the rostrum. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, I, Anthony Rendon, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California. To my family and friends, you honor me. You honor me not only by your presence here today, but also because of what you mean in my life. Thank you. Neither Annie nor I were born with much but we worked hard and somehow we ended up here. But we also had a lot of help. We had help not just from neighbors and family, but we had help from California, a state that invested not only in us, but also in millions just like us. It was California that helped us to get here and it's to this state to which we are indebted. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. In the effort ahead, there are three areas in particular we should focus on. Poverty, oversight, and participation. Poverty. The single biggest shadow on the Golden State is the number of children we have living in poverty. Almost two and a half million children in the greatest state in the most powerful nation on this planet are right now living in poverty that's unacceptable we need to make investments and provide opportunities that lift california families out of poverty and give all of our children a better chance oversight in my first year of this house i demanded that the state parks department be held accountable to california's taxpayers Last year, in oversight hearing after oversight hearing, and in press release after press release, I demanded that the PUC be held accountable to ratepayers. So my own experiences has shown me that we must continue to demand that this state's departments and units be held accountable, and it's our duty to ensure they are. Participation. I believe that this state and this body must focus on participation and on ensuring that Californians are engaged in our democracy, especially in communities where the needs are great, but the engagement hasn't been. One way, of course, is to get barriers out of voters' way. We're making progress, and last year's automatic registration bill will help. And when there's an ongoing campaign across this country to keep people from voting, we must continue to fight for the voting rights of every Californian. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. The duties upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, esteemed guests, I am pleased to present to you the 70th Speaker of the California State Assembly, the Honorable Speaker Anthony Rendon. Colleagues, this year marks the 50th anniversary of California voters putting the state in the hands of a full-time legislature. And looking around this chamber, I can say that it's in good hands teachers' hands, farmers' hands, inventors' hands, hands that nurtured, hands that put on the uniform of our nation's military. Today, I raise my hand to take the oath to serve as your speaker. One day, that oath may be taken by one of you sitting way up there, and one day, it may be taken by some other Californian who right now is riding a bus or picking fruit in a field someone who will benefit from the work we do to enable them, believe in them, and invest in them. Thank you. <laughs> 